Hey everybody, Reef Girl here. Well, I guess this is one of those, oops, I did it again. I went to a coral show a couple weeks ago and though there was one specific thing I was looking for, and by the way, yes, I did get it, I also ended up with nine more corals beyond that. So let me show you what I did with them and then I'll show you something a little bit special. Well, I think it is anyway. Before we get to that, look at my new frag racks from Reefing Art. Each one holds up to eight frags. They are very, very nice. So all my corals are now temperature acclimated and I won this Polyp Lab Reef Primer in a prize pack at another coral show and I thought I'd give it a try. It's meant to be a coral conditioner and it is intended to kill all kinds of pests that might come in on coral frags. So I've put two capfuls of this primer into one liter of new salt water. I'm going to mix it up really, really well, and that's going to become the coral dip. You might have seen my video about how careless we are with marine life and how I really don't like the practice of vendors selling dirty coral frags, that is with pests and algae and all of that. And I spent a lot of time scrutinizing everything before I bought it. I went around all of the vendors probably three or four times. The only thing I bought right off the bat was one specific coral that I was looking for anyway, and it was clean as a whistle. When so even though I think dipping should not 100% be the responsibility of the hobbyist, I'm still dipping because let's face it, there has been no big change yet, and I'm not taking a chance. This primer seems to have, I guess, less harsh qualities than the other coral dips I've used. I normally use Revive or Reef Dip, and Reef Dip, of course, is an iodine base, while Revive is made from plant extracts. But this one on the bottle says it's potassium salts. So I'm thinking that's why no smell. But I have seen little critters come off here and die, mainly pods. There was also that one vermetted snail, and this is just the first coral. I have two little cups like this, and they hold special corals. This one is a PC rainbow. It's pretty small, and it's a fresh cut. So after inspecting it really closely, I've decided I'm just gonna put it on the frag rack the way it is. The second one is a Jason Fox Grafted Monty, and this one is really cool. You'll see a little bit later, I'll show you some close-up footage of it, but pretty much the same thing. For now, I'll leave it on the plug, and later on when I'm ready to mount it in the tank, I'll remove the frag from the plug. So I went through the same process with all of the corals, brought them in, removed them from the frag plug if I could, mounted them on other rocks if it made sense. One of them I even dipped in hydrogen peroxide, and here they are. PC Rainbow, an Elkhorn freaking colony. Now you can see he's sliming. That's because of the dip. That's okay, he's in an area of really good flow. Uh, behind it is the tort got beautiful color on it. And the purple Pocillopora, nice to see the polyps out because boy, did that one get handled. Accidental frags of red dragon, those two. And here's the red dragon itself looking very stressed. There's the Goniopora, grafted Monty, which I just love. Naughty spiral, it's a type of plating Montipora. This is another accidental frag the purple Pusillopora, and here's the rainbow-ish Cyphastria. Okay, I had to include this shot with a filter. The colors are gorgeous. Symphilia. The clownfish don't like it because it's in their territory, but Pamela's being an idiot, so they're fighting with her right now and hopefully they will forget that it's here. Here's a tip. Trying to take a close-up of this guy, 
and I put my phone right up against the glass and it started making a buzzing noise and then my camera wouldn't work. And then I realized, magnet. Okay, so I had my phone right on the magnet while I was trying to get a super macro close up of this grafted Montes, yeah. So terrified, I shut it off, turned it back on again, and thank goodness it seems to be working. But oh, it, it never even occurred to me. So yeah, there's the tip for the day. Next morning, PC Rainbow still has color, not brown, has polyp extension. I sound so idiotic. The Elkhorn is looking very good. Purple Tort back there. Still releasing some slime, but that's okay. It's, there's a lot of flow here, which is good. The Purple Pasilopora, woo! Looks really nice. The two red dragon frags haven't gone white. And here's the main frag. So I don't know, wait and see. Goniopora looks wonderful. As the grafted Monty Cap does. The naughty spiral. Cyphastria. And the accidental possible horror frag. Well, I love the colors on this thing. That is so cool. I was determined not to let these things sit on a frag rack for weeks and weeks. So let me show you where I put them. I changed the lighting for the purposes of this video. Purple Pocillopora. Well, it was on the rocks up above, but a snail knocked it off. So I'll have to fix that later today. Back there is the Red Dragon in an area of medium light and medium flow. Here's the PC Rainbow. This thing has had continuous polyp extension ever since I put it in the tank. Here's the Purple Tort. Well, that's what the vendor called it. I can hardly wait to see if it develops more colors. It is a really large piece. And the green Elkhorn, it's been in this spot very solidly for a week now. I'm so pleased that a snail hasn't knocked it out because it looks like it's pretty vulnerable to that. Another large piece. I'll mention here that I have the lid off the tank and that's why there is so much stuff floating in the water. It's the green wrasse. He's a little bit afraid and has been kicking up the sand. Getting back to the tour, here's the new Cyphastria. This thing is stunning. The colors are amazing. Here's the Naughty Spiral. <laughs> I always feel weird when I say that. And the Grafted Montipora. I really hope it does well in this spot. And the Red Goniopora. Under this light, it looks more orange, but under blue light, it's a vibrant red color. And the super colorful Symphilia. It's only been in the tank for just over a week, and this front edge is, I believe, already starting to grow over. So that's pretty much it. But you know what? It can be really hard to see a lot of the stuff at the back of the tank. For one thing, it's a long ways away from the camera, and trying to zoom in doesn't always work well because of all the stuff that's floating in the water at times like this. Or even with crystal clear water, that zoom just doesn't capture what it needs to capture. So I'm gonna do something just a little bit different this time. Okay, let me just climb up on my stool. And now we're over the tank. And at this point, I am extremely, very, 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 very kind of, yes, very much nervous. That's right, we are underwater. There is the red dragon. From here, you can see much more detail. And you can see that it's already starting to color up a little bit. Some of those branches are pink. Here's the PC rainbow. I apologize, it's off center. I'm still getting used to this underwater video thing. The color is amazing and the polyps are out. Coming across here is the purple tort. Well, <laughs> it's way more than just purple. There's green, there's blue, there's orange, kind of a gold color, almost red. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing develops color-wise in the coming months. And hopefully I can stay on top of the parameters in this tank to keep it healthy and colorful. 
quick shot over top of the branching cyphastria and now we have the green elk horn this thing is gorgeous it's a mini colony and it's been really stable in this spot snails have gone by it no knockdowns as of yet and here is that red goniopora this is the coral i was hoping to find when i went to the coral show i feel really lucky to have come across such a nice one and here's a closer look at the grafted montipora and to the left of it the knotty spiral i'm really looking forward to seeing these things plate out let's finish off with one final look down at the red dragon oh hello mr green Rass. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was pretty nerve-wracking for me. And let me know what you think. If you enjoyed that underwater footage, would you like to see some more in other videos? Would you like to know how I did it and what I used to get the video? Leave some comments below and, and give me a sense of what you're thinking about that. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And now I think I'll go and see if my iPhone was wrecked. <laughs>